Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Matt with Green Bar Trading here. Welcome back to another weekly watch list video where we're going to go over everything you need to know for the week ahead in the stock market. Up on the screen there is your earnings for this coming week. I think it's safe to say that NVIDIA on Wednesday after the close is what most traders are going to be looking at. So that's going to be Wednesday after the close. There are a couple other earnings reports here that have a direct relationship with the consumer and how they're spending money, right? So you have Lowe's, Macy's, you have Dick's Sporting Goods, BJ's, um, all on Tuesday here. These are all great to listen to the CEOs and see how those consumers are holding up. All right, so that's your earnings for this week. All right, now going over to our economic calendar, this is something that we don't like to overlook. We need to know when the most important things are coming out and what time they're coming out. You don't want to be in a trade. And then all of a sudden here on Friday, Powell gives a speech at the Jackson Hole Summit at 10 o'clock. So you're in a trade and all of a sudden you either get stopped out or there's a big move either in your favor or against you if you don't have a stop set. So it's just not smart to trade knowing that there's something really important coming out. Wait until the news breaks and then figure out what you want to do as far as your trade goes, because you don't know with the algorithms trading the way they are lately, you're going to get big spikes, either both up and down. Um, and it really is following his every word. So every word he says, the AI, right? The computer algorithms trading are trading on these keywords. It's just very difficult to do. Um, so just keep in mind, these are the things you want to look at on Thursday. Fed officials, interviews from the Jackson Hole Summit. Same thing for Friday when Powell is going to speak. What is he going to be speaking about? The economic outlook. OK, so this is something everyone is going to be watching. So you can see here the speech is set for 10.05. And he's going to give his latest views on whether more policy tightening will be needed to bring down inflation or if enough progress has already been made to keep rates steady and maybe even pull those rates back a little bit. I don't think that's going to be the case. I still think that there's a lot of room, a lot of uh, inflation out there in the economy. The consumer is still very strong. So while that is all happening, they're going to probably keep rates the same way. Now, during this meeting, there's not going to be any rate decisions. So we don't see any rate decisions in August. We have to wait until September to get the next FOMC rate decision. All right. So just keep that on the lookout. As far as our sectors go um, for the week, you can see here. Not a great week for the market. Nothing was in the green. No sectors were in the green. Technology held up better this past week than everything else, but it's really been energy that has been crushing it. Okay. Just like in 2022 at the beginning, energy was outperforming the rest of the sectors. The rotation into those, um, those names have started to happen again. We called this out months ago. And that's what we're seeing right now as technology, the markets a little too inflated are starting to pull back just a bit. All right. So that's your sectors there and their relative performance to each other. OK, so now going over to the spy, right? This is our compass. This is my favorite market to look at. We have for those that are new, we have the 200 moving average here. This is the daily chart. The 200 moving average, you have the 50, and then you have the 20 EMA, all right? Those are my indicators along with the important RSI. I like to know when a market is overbought because when a market is overbought, it is likely to pull back. Same thing, when it is oversold, oversold, you will see the market rally, right? And that's what we see here with the RSI. Is it the perfect indicator? No, there's no such thing as a perfect indicator. But if you find a group of indicators that you like, stick with it and you will see how the market works um, with those indicators. 
So something that I'm noticing here with the SPY. Now, I want to go back to 2021 with these set of indicators. The 20 EMA is riding over that 50 moving average. That's an incredible rally, all right? Everybody knows back in 2021, the market was ripping. The, tw the 20 EMA started to cross over, across uh, under the 50 moving average, all right? You can see here, the market started to pull back, pulled back some more, tried to rally, pulled back a little bit more. All right, and that's when the 20 EMA started to cross back under the 50. So something that I'm watching here is the same situation about to happen. This 20 EMA has been really since April over the 50. We've had a nice rally. Market's starting to roll over. That 20 is getting close to the 50. When it did back in 2021, right? That was a great opportunity to buy for the next set, the next rally here that we saw. And it really ripped up in that um, October and November uh, areas here. So very similar setup going on right now. Do I know if that's going to be the case where the same thing happens? No, but I like to look at patterns. They tend to repeat themselves, all right? Same thing with the RSI down here. When the 20 EMA is starting to break under the 50, we're seeing those really low RSI uh, numbers here. And I'll show you guys right down here at about 32, 34. Well, that's kind of where we're at right now. We tapped 34, we're at 35 right now, all right? Suggesting that the market is getting oversold. So that's gonna be something we're looking at now. There is still a healthy uptrend since October where there's a lot of room to still come down. So we have to be careful right here, okay? There's been a lot of consolidation around this area. This would be a great area here to see a bounce on if the market did in fact pull back to that 200 moving average or this trend line, well then you have a lot of support here. Okay, a lot of volume was done right here. It's built a nice floor, what should be a nice area of support. So if it ever did come back down to this, you know, 420s area, that would be a good opportunity um, for a bounce, all right? With this trend line, the 200 moving average. Now it's always possible to see a bounce, okay? Friday was not bad. We opened up lower, closed higher, right? all the way back, um, just about 5% pullback. This would be a very healthy pullback if in fact the market did continue to stabilize. All right, low at RSI, already had a 5% pullback. The market is in a nice uptrend. So it's still looking like we're in an uptrend. Um, you know, the volume for selling hasn't been great. As we can see here, this is a negative, um, a negative thing right here with the volume uh, increasing here on the sell-off. But then on Friday, we had big volume on a dip buy. All right, so this is just stuff that I'm noticing. We like to use technical analysis. We like to look at areas of support and resistance. That's what I see happening right there for the SPY. Going over to the QQQ, right? Also, an incredible run since October, okay? All the way up to just about 390 on the year and then pull back, right? We have that 20 crossing under the 50, all right? 20 crossing under the 50 should give us a nice opportunity to get in low, all right? RSI has come down a lot. We were so overextended and overbought up here, healthy pullback right? That's all this might be. But we need to just watch, see what they say on Friday, see what Powell says, and then go from there. We were just in an incredible rally here, up 48%. That is a huge amount on the QQQ. A nice, healthy pullback here, right? Just about 7% pullback on the QQQ. 
That's there's nothing wrong with that. That's healthy. We're still in an uptrend. All right. Just be careful of that uptrend as the air is starting to come out a little bit from this rally. But what else did you expect? When a market looks like that, goes from the bottom left to the top right of your screen, you're going to see a pullback. You just don't know when that's going to happen. And that did start to happen back here at the end of July. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please hit that thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys.